we me and milano decided to remain friends and build our child as separate parents we still have mad love for each other but we both came to an understanding meek mill and now ex-girlfriend milano calls it quits just after welcoming their newborn son two months ago hi guys and welcome back to another video thank you so much for taking your time to tune in and watch this guys i am going to be talking about meek mill today and his separation with his now ex-girlfriend this was trending and we're going to talk a little bit about why and what has been going on so definitely stay tuned like this video join the family hit the subscribe button and obviously let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section meek mill splits from milan harris a week after kanye said he cheated with kim um so obviously you guys remember what has been going on with um kimye kanye obviously bought meek mill's name he wanted to have a divorce with kim i think he kind of felt like she went behind his back but there were pictures to show that the meeting with meek and kim was not a one-to-one -one meeting guys and sources also did confirm that kim left by herself they're both into the prison reform stuff so it is what it is so that's that so anyways meek mill and his girlfriend they had a baby two month old then he decided to make this post on his twitter and then he just copied it on his instagram to say that they are now separating and i think a, pe a lot of people felt a certain way about it because number one you never publicly even confirmed that she was your girlfriend but you publicly confirming that you are separated it's a bit like so you was keeping her hidden and now you want to publicly be like hey i'm single and also um nick is pregnant Nicki minaj is pregnant so people feel like i don't know people feel like maybe he just feels some type of way who knows who knows but let's have a look to see what's in the papers oh this one says just a month after they welcomed a child together and amid being called out by kanye west do you think that kind of had an impact in his decision i think if you're gonna split with somebody two months after they have your child then that decision didn't just come from somebody posting a tweet there has to have been something there for you to be like okay do you know what i don't want to be in this relationship anymore which apparently was a mutual thing but what is it with people having kids and then decided that i don't i want to leave Oh, that's another conversation for another day like that's another headache meek mill has announced that his relationship with milan rouge harris is over in the same week kanye west called him out for meeting up with kim the 33 year old rapper welcomed his first child with milan 31 who who and just two months ago but said that they are going to remain friends as they look to bring up their baby as separate parents um, on his twitter post he said we still have mad love for each other but we both came to an understanding what's the understanding what is the understanding that's what i want to know we he said we both have an understanding but what's the understanding though <sighs> the news broke during an online argument meek was having with his girlfriend oh exactly this is what i was saying milan had already announced in december 2019 without saying who the father was but meek seemingly confirmed this when he hit back at menage with my girl is with me pregnant watching me tweet about my ex very clownish i'm an exit i feel like meek does just he just doesn't want to let go of nikki i don't know do you feel like he just wants to hold on to nikki nikki has moved on now like nikki just seems so happy she's having a baby this is a dream of hers that's coming true um and meek is just a bit all over the place meek is already a dad to ramad and ramik with his ex-girlfriend fahima was overjoyed when his baby boy was born he announced the birth on twitter writing milana dropped me off a king on my birthday the best gift i just feel like these guys are just popping out babies left right and center with different women what is the matter <laughs> what's the issue <laughs> what's the matter like uh -uh. 
one baby here one baby there another one there like guys come on man i just can't take this kind of person seriously i mean meek is not somebody that i religiously follow or to be honest like follow that much um but I just feel like it's a bit problematic like we have a lot of problematic men in our society let's call a spade a spade you know oftentimes it's always the women like if there's an issue oh it's the woman you know the woman needs to learn to be submissive the woman needs to learn to do this or the woman the woman the woman but what about the men after all of this gallivanting that they're doing like all of this stuff that they're doing like it's evident it's evident by the fact that you are having multiple babies around the country and you keep encountering the same issue so clearly the issue is with you the man not the woman like we're not out here having multiple babies but which i'm not saying this is all men by the way and i'm not saying that it's all women but i'm just saying i'm just saying that the majority of the time the issue is always the men but we have a lot of problematic men in our society which needs to be addressed because the fact that as male figures you have a higher responsibility to lead the home to be the captain you're not doing a very good job because there are a lot of broken homes in our society and if the captain is not controlling the ship very well you're gonna end up crashing like a titanic and we are seeing a lot of sinking titanics the problem is is that we focus so much on how to be this proverbs 31 woman or how to be the best wife or how to be this how to be that but there's not a lot of um maybe older fathers or older men teaching the younger men how to take responsibility how to actually be men that they are supposed to be i'm gonna leave it there because i am literally going in deep and it's another headache for another day but let me know what your thoughts are because i just feel like number one you've never publicly really been like only that small tweets referring to his girlfriend but he was on twitter ranting about his ex why do women allow such things to happen why do women always allow stupidity women allow certain behaviors to happen and we blame men for behaving like that but you've allowed it secondly yeah you kind of kept me hidden and then you publicly are like oh we've decided to separate what was the deal here are you still wanting your ex or what yeah let me know let me know let me know guys i'll see you in my next video please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.